The People's United Party took over the Orange Rock District without four candidates winning their respective division. The Prime Minister John Bersenio won Orange Rock Central by over 700 votes, garnering 56% of the votes. His three times challenger, the UDP's Denny Grealva, received 2,140 votes. The voter turnout in that division was 84%. In spite of a pandemic, the legions in impressive numbers voted for a new beginning. As a nation, we have kept the faith from adult suffrage in 1954 to this day. We have kept Belizean democracy strong so that once again, we bear witness to the peaceful transfer of authority from one administration to another. As we say, the people have spoken. Long live democracy. In the north, Ramon Monche Cervantes defeated the UDP's Carlos Zetina. Cervantes won over Remley by over 1,400 votes. He managed to flip the division in favor of the PUP. I feel great. I'm very thankful to the people who supported me, who voted for me, who worked with me, along with me. I'm very grateful for them. It couldn't have been possible without them. Coming into today's election, did you, uh, were you confident that you would have won this division? That's that was considered a UDP stronghold? Yes, I was confident, but I knew I still had to put in all the work and, and do what it requires because I take nothing for granted. Going to the south, Jose Abelardo Mai remains as the air representative. He defeated the UDP's Guadalupe Magana Dick by over 1,400 votes. Mai says he wasn't surprised of his win. It never bothered me if I was to win. I knew I was going to win. What concerns me is governing. How do we govern the day after we are elected? And that is my concern. Um, there is a feeling of reassurance that the people do care for you, they do love you, they do believe in you. And now it is we need to live up to their expectations, which I believe is going to be challenging. It's a very long and bumpy road. And while the road was bumpy for the PUP's Kevin Bernard, when the votes were counted, Bernard made huge inroads. Many eyes were on Orange Rock East, where he defeated the UDP's Elodio Aragon Jr. by a huge margin, by more than 600 votes. I know what we were doing, and our numbers were reflecting the exact victory today. Before I came in to the counting room, to the counting station here, I said to my colleagues and I said to the party leader, we are going to win Orange Rock East between 600 and 700 votes and that is what we delivered for the great people, People's United Party and the people of Orange Rock East. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.